Another component of the workup that is uh, not routinely done, but some people feel, and I include myself in that group, that is a test that gives you uh, a good bit of information, it's called the post-coital test. The post-coital test is performed uh, uh, before ovulation occurs, about day 10 to 12 of the cycle, and it's the, the way it's done is that the couple is asked to have intercourse 2 to 12 hours before the test is done. Then the woman comes to the office, uh, you insert the speculum and collect a sample of, of the cervical mucus. It's a totally painless procedure. And then you take uh, a sample of the mucus and look under the microscope to see how many sperm are in the sample and characteristics of the sperm. Are they motile? Are they progressively motile? How many sperm are in the sample? And so on. Another piece of information that you get from the test is how much cervical mucus is there and the characteristics of cervical mucus. As you see, it's a very simple test to do and it gives you information, A, is there a good amount of cervical mucus being produced every month? B, is the sperm and mucus interaction good? And ultimately, it's a rough a way of finding out if there is a male factor or not, as long as you have a good uh, receptive cervical mucus. In other words, if you have a good amount of mucus and the timing of the test is good and you have very few sperm, that prompts you to pursue a semen analysis quicker.